Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the SketchUp series. This short video tutorial, we're going to be going over the mortise and tenon, how to make a mortise and tenon. So let me go ahead and open up this SketchUp. As you can see, I already have this drawn up here. This board, these are going to represent boards to whatever project you may be working on. So this is three and a half inches tall by three quarter inches wide and this is one and a half inch square and 36 inches tall. So there are several ways to make Morrison tenon and I'm going to show you how I do it. It might not be the way other people do it but it's just another version. Okay we're going to make a, a mortise and tenon right here we're going to do the uh, mortise on this side excuse me the tenon on this side and the mortise on this side or vice versa whichever way you want to look at it we're going to put the mortise and tenon on here uh, I know it's easy some people get them so mixed up which is which so we're just going to say to into and the not there so this is going to be the goes into and this is going to be the not there Okay, this one we're going to have a two inch by one quarter inch goes into. Very easy to draw, so we're going to highlight this whole section right here. Come over to the offset tool. We've gone over the offset tool in another video. I would encourage you to look at that. So we over here on the offset tool, we're just going to left click and drag. 0 0.25 hit enter okay I hit the escape key so now we're going to come over to the push pull I'm going to hit the push pull I have my tool on top of this so I'm going to left click and drag one inch so there you go there's the goes into and we're going to put the ain't there over here. Now this is just an example. Your actual project will most likely be different size than this, but this is just a general project. So we're going to come over here to the pick tool. I'm going to come over here and highlight this one. Going to offset that by, whoops, not that way. Let me delete that. Let's go a different way. Let's just go over here to the tape measure tool. Click on this. Go down 0 0.25. Enter. Okay. Uh, we could, one way to make the goes into and the ain't there. The ain't there is on this side again. We could copy and paste this and move it over there. But I'm going to show you a different way that I like doing it. I'm just going to go over to my line tool, go straight down two inches. Now I'm just going to make a line going all the way across both sides. There we go. We can go this way. There we go. So we have these two lines here. This is going to represent the bottom of the gozenta. And this is going to represent the center of the top of the gozenta. So I'm going to come over here to the line tool. Start right here. Go over one eighth. I messed that one up there. Let me start it over. And I'm going to come over here this way. One eighth inch. And then draw the line straight down. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. One eighth of an inch. Then just go and draw a line down this side. Okay, we won't need this anymore. We won't need this anymore, this anymore, or this. So let's go and erase all those. So now the ain't there 
we're just going to take your push pull tool and if you know woodworking you want to have a little bit of extra space for the glue so we're going to take this back 13 sixteenths of an inch it, there you go let me turn this so you can see into there so that's 13 sixteenths of an inch deep and the gozenta is one inch deep okay so we need to move these together we're just going to get the pick tool highlight all these and I am going to take the center of this well first I'm going to hit the move button I'm going to move this I'm going to hit the center pick this center node and drag it over to this center node there you go that's a one way of doing a mortise and tenon joint like I said earlier yours will most likely be different dimensions but this will just give you the basic idea of how to do it got any questions or concerns shoot leave me a comment in the section below and i appreciate you watching